Hello and welcome to Tea to Gaming. Today we will be looking at Stone Refiner. This spawn works for all vocation and even better if you already have decent skills. So let's go and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. To get to the spawn you need to exit Venor on the east side and just walk east like I'm going here. Once you get there, you need to go down to the last floor. So far, nothing dangerous. Here on the last floor, you want to go to the northwest like this map and here you will find a teleport. On the way here, you can use a stealth ring to avoid most of the monsters, but be careful since the Corrin Vanguard can see you and they can hit pretty hard if you're lower level, which you probably will be if you hunt here. Once you enter the teleport, we need to talk to the NPC that we find on the west side. This is so we can pass the door, so all you have to say here is hi, help, yes. Now we can pass the first door and after you've done that we keep going north until we find the, the next NPC. And here we will say the following, hi, decreased resources. Defy. Now we can enter the next door and get to the spawn. When entering the spawn you will need to equip yourself with a stealth ring or you can die pretty fast. You might also need to keep an eye on the timer of your stealth ring so they don't run out when you're having a lot of monsters around you. Now these monsters are weak to ice and physical so depending on your level and vocation you should use one of these two. The stone refiner has 800 HP and gives 500 XP at 100%. But since you start here at the low level, you have a lot of extra bonus experience, which will give you a really good boost. And you will also make profit here depending on what stealth rings are worth on your server. So, when can you start hunt here then? For Knight and Paladin, I would say you can start at level 8 if you have decent skills. The only problem at this level is the way down and your cap limitations. But if you have a friend that can help you get down and bring you some extra supplies, that will save you a lot of time running back and forth. For mages, I would say that you can start hunting here at level 12 when you get Exor Vis, and as soon as you get level 15, you should change to Exor Frigo. And just like with all other vocations, the biggest problem with mages is also your capacity. So I would find the lightest equipment there is, and maybe even skip the legs to be able to carry some more manas. When it comes to experience, you can make around 250 to 300k an hour, which at level 15 is pretty nice if you ask me. For mage and knights, you will just need stealth rings and a lot of manas. For paladins, you will not need the same amount of manas, but you will also need to cap some arrows or throwing stars. If you are high enough level, you can make your own arrows while hunting here to extend your hunt. The monsters drop a lot of platinum coins and also a lot of creature products. I would skip the coal when looting, but all the others you can pick up as long as you have the cap for it to make as much profit as possible. These monsters do also drop some food, but if you plan on staying here longer, I will bring some brown mushrooms if I were you. To get the charms here, you will need to kill a thousand stone refiners. But I almost never stay that long, especially with mages, since, since I changed the spawn at level 28. To get the most out of the spawn, this is the path I used to take, and that has always been enough for me when hunting here alone, but if you manage to overkill, you can also go up and take the northeast corner. So I hope you like this video, and if you do, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Now I will let you see the rest of the video without my voice and it would mean a lot for me and the YouTube algorithm if you took the time to watch the full video. Until next time.